You're watching Hometown Sports with Dave Griffiths. Welcome into your Monday morning Sunrise Sports. It is that time of the week yet again. A look back at the top plays and stories from the past two days in the wide world of sports. It is the weekend rewind. Number five, Australian Open. Novak Djokovic wins his fifth tennis Grand Slam. He's won the last three at the Aussie in Melbourne. He defeated Rafael Nadal in five sets. In total, five hours and 53 minutes for that deciding match. The longest Grand Slam final ever. Next slam will be in May. That is the French Open. Number four, a great Comeback for McClay Boys Soccer hosting Lafayette in the district championship. McClay down two to one at halftime, but no big deal. Three goals in the second half for the Marauders lead to a four to two win. McClay is the district champion. Two second of two of those three second half goals came from Matias Schneider. Regional quarterfinals is the next round for McClay. They will host Franklin County this coming Wednesday evening. Number three to the NBA on Sunday, Miami Heat, Chicago Bulls. Dwayne Wade finds LeBron James for the alley oop dunk. This is a memorable play. James James actually jumps over the Bulls' John Lucas to go up and get that one. A memorable play from a memorable player. Heat would go on to win the game as well. Well, when we go to number two, a final college game for Florida State's Nigel Bradham and Zebri Sanders. It was the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. Bradham, the former Wakulla War Eagle, played plenty on defense here. Sacks Wisconsin quarterback Russell Wilson. Draft just three months away. Not a whole lot of time for players to improve their draft stock anymore, but you do have pro days coming up at all different universities. So, number one, the streak reaches 12. Florida A&M women's basketball, they haven't lost since 2011. December 9th, to be exact. Lady Rattlers also remain perfect in the MEAC with the defeat of Bethune-Cookman on Saturday. Next up, they will play at home sat this next Saturday against North Carolina Central. That will do it for this week's Weekend Rewind. That is also a wrap on your Monday morning check on sports. Now back to the news desk.